Okay, folks. So today we're going to talk a little bit about the other benefits of agroforestry besides food. And one of the main benefits of agroforestry besides food is that you get plenty of fiber, right? Fibers are mulch materials, aka biomass. Uh, Vandana Shiva, a very famous author, probably a lot of you are familiar with, writes about the five F's of forest farming. It's not just food, it's also food. Let me see if I can get them all. Food, fiber, fuel, fodder, and it'll come to me. Okay, but anyway, fiber is a big one, right? And fiber is fantastic to mulch with. So today I'm making a garden bed down here, and what I want to do is cover this entire surf surface with fibers to mulch the ground, to attract uh, microbes up to the surface, to eat this stuff, to break it down, to enrich the soil. And so here what I've got is uh, pahatokija. This is commonly used to make roofing material here in Ecuador, like a thatch style roof. But it's great for mulch and biomass because it's very like, it's hardly permeable. You can put this down and it's almost like a tarp, pahatokija. So if you have really good, thick, sturdy leaves like this, definitely use these for your biomass. So what I'm doing here is I'm basically making, right, a, a, a ground covering, right, by overlapping these leaves on the ground so that uh, the weeds, the grass, the, the, the vegetation that I don't want won't come back up, okay? I know I use the word weed and the permaculture people are like, there's no weeds, but there is such a thing as unwanted vegetation and it's okay to want to keep it out of your growing spaces. Another great mulching material are banana trunks because they are thick and sturdy and you can use them to define the border of your bed. So what I've done here is I've made a square with these banana trunks, putting them down. This is gonna be the borders of my garden bed. And then I'm just gonna continue to cover all the surface in the middle. Another great mulching material, classic one, classic biomass fiber for a pioneer agroforestry system, banana leaves. So you just wanna start laying these things down on the soil, overlapping as much as possible. Make your covering really thick. Let it sit for a couple of months at least. And then you can come back and you can have a really nice uh, garden bed here in this area. Okay, guys? So fiber, excellent benefit of agroforestry. Keep that in mind. Okay, so here's an example of fodder, another one of the Fs, F-O-D-D-E-R. And uh, you might think of animal fodder as things that we also eat, like corn and oats and such. And but you might be surprised at what animals eat. This is uh, matroton, madre de cacao, uh, glircidia, and it's great nitrogen fixing tree. We plant it all over the place to uh, to uh, fix nitrogen. We tried using it as fence posts in one of our uh, fields, and our two horses ate it all. So. You never know what you're going to find for fodder. Horses love this. It's leguminous, so I'm sure it smells like fresh peas. It's probably got some protein in it and some goodies in it. And then right behind, we've got banana leaves, um, which are also great fodder for horses. Cows like them too. So yeah, uh, fodder. Don't forget about that. Growing in your agroforestry system for another uh, benefit besides food. Okay, I don't know where my mind was, but obviously the other F of the five Fs is fertilizer. Lots of green fertilizer. So here we took down some pioneers that were uh, really getting a little bit out of control, overshadowing our forest. We're going into our accumulation phase. So we've been in our pioneer phase for almost over five years now, and uh, we're moving into accumulation. So now we're getting a lot of growth. You can see... I mean, this is great. There's birds here. I, I love all these pioneers coming up, but we're very selectively starting to prune some of them down. It's a really important phase of the centropic uh, system is to do the proper pruning, open your canopy back up when needed. And then we have all this amazing uh, green fertilizer here that my helpers are helping me to chop up. We're taking the green leaves off and then putting them in uh, nice little mulch piles down at the bases of the fruit trees saving the bigger chunks of wood for uh, fuel. There's another F, fuel. And um, I'm gonna collect the smaller sticks and make a big burn pile, yeah, to make some biochar. So everything's useful. So this is gonna be a future garden right down here. I'm making a ra some beds. 
And what I'm doing is I'm making a big burn pile of all of the scrap wood, pieces of wood, vines, drying it out. I'm gonna cover it up with a tarp and then I will smolder this biochar style to start off my garden bed with some awesome biochar. And finally, the last benefit of agroforestry. This one doesn't start with an S, it starts with a B, and that is beauty. Yeah, it's just something that you don't get in um, broad scale cropping or farming where everything looks the same on one level. All these colors, everything growing on different levels. Yeah, it's just beautiful. So that's one last benefit I just wanna emphasize. Besides food, is obviously the beauty of it all, yeah? So please don't forget to check out our website. Come on down to Ecuador, hang out with us in our mud house, eat some awesome cacao. Check out our apprenticeship program, our Patreon. And uh, please don't forget to subscribe, like, and comment. Thank you.